with only a camera, America's most daring journalists risk their lives to bring you breaking news. Come on, you're coming out! Tonight on Stringers. Four months pregnant. How that driver got out and ran, I have no idea. A late night swim turns tragic. And a high-speed chase wrecks a stringer's night. We're riding shotgun with Stringers LA. It's almost 3 a.m. and Scott Lane is heading towards a wild car chase. He's a uh, southbound central. Uh, burglary suspect, he's been driving erratically. This dude's gonna crash for sure. The driver is pushing 80 miles an hour through residential streets in a stolen car. Hello? Hey, are you here in the pursuit? Where's the pursuit at? In South LA. No, you just keep going home. Don't, you don't need to come down here. Don't worry about it. I got it. You can just watch it on TV. Later. Because I left, he thinks I won't come back, but. I'm going back. We're trying to get in front of a pursuit right now. It's going to be coming down the street. And we're going to pull over and get a shot. Josh gets ahead of Scott and grabs a passing shot. This is money in the bank for a stringer. Dude, there's Josh. I shouldn't have called him. I should not have called him. Yeah. You ask Scott, he'll tell you he's the uh, the best stringer in Los Angeles and the best cameraman around. I'm not claiming I'm the best stringer in the world. I'm just the best one in Los Angeles. Well, we'll let the video speak for itself. He's going to be coming down the street right here. We're going to park right here. This looks like a good spot. Get out now. Alright, get ready, get ready, get ready. Alright. Alright, get out, get out, get out, get out. Dude, what are you doing here? Get out of here! Both stringers focus on the stolen car speeding toward them. And right into Josh's SUV. That was too close to the action for Josh. He panicked and shut off his camera. Yet Scott keeps rolling. It's a dramatic finale to the chase, all thanks to the stopping power of Josh's bumper. I knew I shouldn't have parked there. That's what you get for coming back. It was either your car or my car, but that's what you get for coming back. I would have rather dude, have I been your car. Dude, I just got the shot of the night. I'll be back. I'm going to go feed it. Josh is so bummed, dude. Poor guy. I got the shot of the night. You know, Josh got it too, but I'm a better cameraman. I guarantee you I got it better than Josh, and we'll watch it on the news. That'll play out. Ready for more action, Scott heads into South Central, where a drive-by shooting has been reported. It's a notoriously bad neighborhood where gunplay is a part of daily life. Uh, we have not been confirmed on a victim yet, and depending on circumstances, as if it's a news story or not. Gangsters will uh, shoot somebody, go home, watch it on TV, and drink a beer about it. Scott shows up to find paramedics hovering over a man's body. CPR is in progress.
The cops aren't talking, so Scott turns elsewhere. So you, uh, so you heard the shots, and then you were worried about your granddaughter. Is your granddaughter okay? She's okay. Hey, did anybody see him? It, no, nobody saw if it was the homeless guy or if it was just another guy. As of right now, uh, looks like it is a fatal shooting. The coroner is going to take him. Firemen are. It's a tragic story, but without the victim's identity, it's not likely to get picked up. Shootings happen every night in LA. Whether it makes the news or not, it's pretty much up to us and the news station. Across town, stringer Austin Rashbrook is taking a night off when he gets an emergency call from his brother. Hello. Which, which one, Venice Pier? A young man jumped off a 60-foot pier which and never Venice made it pier? back to shore. Is that the one? OK, all right, I'm coming. Follow me down there. By day, Venice Beach is a popular tourist attraction. By night, it's a hot spot for trouble. You get it all the time, you know, you get young kids hanging around down on the pier, partying and stuff like that, they just jump right off and they don't realize how dangerous it is. Austin captures the rescuers scanning the water for signs of life. Suddenly, they spot something floating in the water. Coming up. Are they too late? Wake up! Yeah, wake up! And later, a hit and run crash leaves a pregnant woman in peril. She looks out of it. Rescue workers in Venice Beach have spotted a lifeless body in the ocean, and stringer Austin Rashbrook is on the case. He's conscious, but barely alive. You got alcohol? Drugs? No? You tired? You can't in any water. The victim is hypothermic and must be rushed to the hospital before he goes into shock. Austin calls his brother with an update. Right, I got the one victim being dragged out by lifeguards. I'm gonna go and feed it now. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll speak later. Okay, bye. Twenty miles from the beach, competitor Scott Lane is flying down the freeway. There's just been a head-on collision. Two cars total, and at least five injured. It's really weird. At this time, the, the, the only story that I can ask for just popped into my lap. We have two people trapped. This is a guaranteed story. Guaranteed I'm going to go feed it. It's just a matter of getting it. Reaching the scene is going to be tricky. The highway patrol has shut down the freeway. We're going to get on the freeway maybe the right way and then go run. We'll see how much we're driving on the freeway backwards. That, that, that's a no-no, but like I said, we'll see. I, I haven't said we're not. I just said it's a no-no. One of the things that I'm really, really good at is uh, getting what I want. And I want to get the story, so I'll get it. After daredevil driving, he pulls onto the scene. Possible this was a head-on collision. Very, very possible for the way that the cars are smashed. The front end of both cars are smashed. Stay back. Stay back. All right, they're pulling somebody out right now. They're pulling somebody out. All right, there's the second victim they're pulling out. 
Scott learns the man driving the silver car was going the wrong way when he slammed into another vehicle with four people inside. It looks like these people are coming back from a party for their clothes. They got a lot of netting on. One person remains trapped as firemen move in. They, uh, they just opened the door. Somebody, somebody fell out. All right, let's get out of here, because the stations are on their way here and stuff. We got to go. Scott knows the stations will want this story. At the moment, he's the only stringer on the scene. Tell me when you're in. Thank you. Hey, it's Scott with RMG News. I'm, I'm going to do a feed at 4.30. I got breaking news. I got the story of the night. He uses a satellite feed to deliver his footage to news stations around the country. But tonight, the feed point is booked. Even if I wait my turn or wait for you to hit some button, he tries another facility. You can't squeeze me in. I don't care about a slug sheet. All right. Bye. When I just got. Coming up, if he can't find a place to feed, Scott's footage will never see air. I got it. I can't do anything with it. And later, a man's life is about to go up in flames. There's a guy burning inside the car. Come on, guys! Stringer Scott Lane has the only footage of a terrible crash that shut down a busy LA freeway. But the satellite feed center is already booked. It's a race against time right now. I'm just, I, I, you know, it doesn't really matter if any other cameras show up or when they show up. I have the footage. I have the shots. I couldn't ask for a better story. The, 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 the timing and the story on the freeway that's going to tie up the freeway for the rest of the day, that is the story I was looking for. I got it. I can't do anything with it. Scott starts calling other feed centers around the city. OK. OK. Thanks. No, I can't. Until he can find a solution, it'll be up to his competitors to hunt down LA's hottest news stories. Austin Rachebrook hears of a police pursuit in South Central. This one off frequency stands by 1284 is a pursuit of a Code 37 vehicle. 81st west of Normandy requesting that air unit. The crash, we got a pursuit. 81st and Normandy. Me. Can you drive any f***ing slower? Ten miles away, his twin brother Howard is heading to a hit-and-run crash in downtown L.A. So the LAPD are going code three to this, which means lights and sirens. So it has to be a pretty bad call. They're going to be on scene pretty quick. So we... As Howard searches for the accident, Austin finally catches up to the stolen car chase in South Central. Four police cars were on the suspect's tail when he bailed out on foot in one of the worst parts of town. Okay, we've got cops running through the parking lot. Just watch your back here. This is a bad area. Austin's determined to get some footage of the chase. He's gone. Ten miles away, Scott is still looking for a place to feed out his footage of the head-on freeway collision. The stations tell him to meet up with their news crews on their way to the crash. No, I'm not going back to the scene. No way. I need to give it to everybody fairly, and I do not want to go back and give it to one person and sit there for the rest of my morning. Meanwhile, Howard arrives at the scene of the hit and run. The driver of a white Toyota broadsided a taxi cab filled with passengers, then disappeared. So the driver of the other car took off running. 
how that driver got out and ran, I have no idea. But from the looks of his windshield, he could have a serious head injury. So a pregnant woman and kids involved in a taxi with a hit and run. She looks out of it. She's four months pregnant. Thankfully, her daughter wasn't hurt. Howard's got the makings of a good story. Over in South Central, his brother Austin is having trouble keeping up with the cops after the suspect took off on foot. Um, they caught him, but I don't know where he is. But yeah, it was over pretty quick, but you know, we were here too, but he's just gone. Meanwhile, Scott is still trying to feed out his footage of the head-on collision that's sure to cause major delays all morning long. Finally, a satellite tech calls with an opening. Oh my god, dude, thank you so much, thank you so much. All right, yeah, 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 I'm on my way now. Um, I'll be there in about five minutes. This is called breaking news. This this is what we do. Uh, the stage, Every station is going to be pretty much bugging the heck out of me in the next five minutes, asking info, trying to get info. Don't you know I'm in a hurry? Almost didn't make it. So lucky, so lucky. Pretty much shot it, fed it, and now it's time to go home and watch it on TV. A terrifying scene on a local freeway today. Police say a man came full speed ahead into oncoming traffic, slamming into another car. Two of the passengers in the Nissan, 18 and 19-year-old males from Garden Grove, survived. It just so happens I'm the best stringer in Los Angeles. I don't say it all the time. You know, lately, actually, I don't say it enough. Coming up, a stringer risks his life to save a man trapped in a burning car. Come on! Ah, right ah, ah, okay. A vehicle is burning on the Hollywood freeway after smashing into a center divider. Stringer Jack Klein moves in for a closer look. Driver is trapped. Get some help. Get some help, guys. The driver's legs are pinned under the dashboard. Two police officers are on the scene but their fire extinguisher stops working and the engine fire is still going. With his camera balanced on his shoulder, Jack joins the rescue effort. Anybody has fire extinguisher? You guys have fire extinguisher then? There's a guy burning inside the car. Give it to me, guys. Let go. Come on, guys! Pull the handle. The men try to pull the driver out, but he just won't budge. The gas tank could explode at any second. All right, here he comes. The rescuers together kick in the dashboard to free the victim's legs. You'll be fine, buddy. You'll be fine. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. And just in the nick of time. The driver appears to have broken his leg.
With the danger over, Jack races to get his material on the air. Bystanders and two LA police officers worked frantically. Finally, they pulled the man out, finally carried him to safety moments before the car was engulfed in flames. Well, the man who took this video is freelance photographer Jack Klein. He was first on the scene. Uh, he said he was pinned. Uh, right away, what went through my mind was uh, I stuck my leg inside the window, through the window, so I can push the thing up so I can release his legs out of the area. When I saw him uh, get pulled out of that car, it was the best feeling to help someone uh, to get out of that uh, situation alive. Wherever there's news breaking, there's sure to be a stringer heading right for it. Sometimes they make the story, sometimes they miss the story. Sometimes they even save a life. Twenty minutes ago, we were sat there doing absolutely nothing. Now we've got three calls going right now. The crash, we've got a pursuit. Just watch your back here. This is a bad area. Dude, what are you doing here? Get out of here! We're not too well educated book-wise, but we have street smarts like you would not believe.